Hey everyone, Cadams Tech here. So in today's video, I wanted to go over why coding is still the future. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Christopher Adams. I am a senior full stack software engineer living in the Denver, Colorado area. If you feel like you've gotten anything out of value from this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share with anyone that you know is interested in software engineering. Okay, so the first reason is the use of AI. So AI is also going to be writing code. Um, not only will humans be writing code, and some people are going to be writing code all of it by hand for quite some time. Like there are a lot of government jobs and military jobs that don't even use AI right now. I actually have interviewed for one such position where when I mentioned that I use AI, they looked at me like, we're not allowed to use AI here. So in addition to humans handwriting code, there is going to be AI churning out more and more and more code. And when you introduce code, guess what there is as a um, side effect? Bugs. And since there are bugs, that's going to require human intervention. And the humans being software engineers, we have to pinpoint this bug. We have to understand what the intended behavior is. And we have to try and create that intended behavior. That's something that you need human reason for most of the time, right? A lot of time, the machine cannot actually um, determine what a bug is just out, out of whim. It doesn't even realize that there is a bug itself. Reason number two that I think coding is the future is that with the use of AI, this will make programmers and software engineers more productive, right? And more um, and more efficient. So they'll be able to churn out more work. I'm seeing this um, firsthand by using tools such as Cursor. Uh, if you haven't checked out Cursor, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but uh, I've gotten a lot of value out of it in the you know couple of weeks that I've been using it so far. Uh, prior to Cursor, I used GitHub Copilot for the last two years, as well as um, GPT, ChatGPT. So uh, those have been useful, but I think Cursor definitely takes it to the next level because you can give a context of your entire code base and it can infer a lot of great suggestions, um, a lot of well-informed suggestions. And not only that, but within the settings of Cursor, you can actually toggle on and off different AI models. So, so you can play, or LLMs, LLMs, language learning models. So you can, um, you know, see how you feel about different language learning models and what it what it suggests to you within your code. Right now, I'm just rolling with the defaults. I heard Claude is really, really good uh, at certain things. And then um, there are different LLMs that are also, there's pros and cons between the LLMs, which is why I say you kind of have to play around with them yourself and then see um, what resonates best with you um, in terms of like how it infers things and, um, and, and suggests things and things of that nature. Yeah, so being able to utilize tools such as Cursor and leverage the power of AI really expedites the development process. Point three of why software engineers will be needed and code is the future is that with the use of AI and how it churns out a bunch of code, you have to have a real professional know how to take these pieces of code and these building blocks and architect it within the code base. AI isn't really the greatest at that right now still, and I, I, I still believe that. Um, it does take a human set of eyes at the moment to be able to break things down and architect things in a way that is also um, intuitive. And I feel like some, you know, sometimes AI doesn't have that intuition that you as a human do. Um, and then also when it comes to architecting the code base, if you're on a team, you need to be on the same page as the team. You all need to be in agreement on how the code base should be architected. AI is not going to be able to magically know how to architect that. But you as a team and talking amongst each other will know what works best for you logically and when it comes to working within the code base. Another reason why I think code is the future is because with the introduction of all of this code and AI, there is going to be an increase in cyber security related threats right there. With more code out there, there is the possibility of being able to exploit more, right? Because the more code that's out there, the more potential there is for something to be exploited. So with that being said, AI is churning out code like never before, right? And we don't know exactly every single line what's going on that the AI is churning out. I don't think every single company that's using AI right now and every single author of that, you know, the every single prompt engineer that takes this code, I don't think they know every single aspect of what's going on with that code you know, everywhere. It's not, it's not, it's not going to happen. So with that being said, there is going to be an increase in threats. And with an increase in threats, I think there's going to be a need for more software engineers 
And the reason is because we need people to be able to detect these threats. We need people to be able to introduce code and platforms that help guard against these threats. So I still think code is the future in that respect too. Code is the future because if you can dream it, you can do it with code. It's an artistic platform. It's both an art and a science, as my ex-engineering manager used to say. Yes, so with that being said, use it as a creative tool. You know, code is the future for use as a creative tool. There's something beautiful about the way that people can architect code and the way that certain functionality of the code behaves as far as like actually using a feature um, and the uniqueness that went into whatever it is that was being built. You can still make your own, add your own special flair to things. You can still add that creative human element to things. So code is the future and code in the hands of humans leveraging AI, which is a power tool to be used, I think there's a beautiful and bright future for. If you as a software engineer currently don't use AI or if your workplace is preventing you from using it, definitely experiment with it as, for fun. Learn about it. Learn how to leverage it. Learn um, Cursor. Like I said, Cursor is a great AI um, editor um, and it's very, very powerful. I would check that out, but also learn to leverage um, APIs that use AI. I recently hooked an API in for my client that can basically calculate the area of, or the square footage outside of your property um, based on an address. Um, so that was something that just came out a few months ago. And I, and I looked for something like it six months ago and it, something like it didn't even exist. Um, so it's a really new, cool thing. And I connected that to my client's application. Um, and it's cool because now you can leverage AI within the application, but I also leverage AI via cursor and GPT and things of that nature um, to help automate my workflow and, and improve my efficiency. So yeah, like I was gonna say, something that once took me a week to build, I can now build in a matter of hours. I can go on and on about how code is the future. I, I can come up with countless number of reasons, uh, just because in my heart of hearts, I firmly believe that. Um, but the, the deal is this, code is the future for those that are going to keep up to date with what's going on, right? And it's always been that way. So tech is fast moving. So you need to stay on top of things. Do you see, you know, your friends or your peers using some tools that you are unfamiliar with? Find out what those tools are. Try to understand them. See if it can help your workflow. Uh, if you don't, then you're just, you could be left behind um, and then it'll just turn into a hobby for you. But, um, but don't get me wrong, there are plenty of companies that still use legacy systems. Um, there's bank code that I hear is like written on COBOL and Fortran and, and things of that nature. And they have so much code that it, it, would, it would take, it's a huge effort to convert all of that old code into something new, which, man, that kind of leaves a good AI related idea. But in my heart of hearts, I believe code is the future for junior software engineers, for mid software engineers, and for senior software engineers. I feel like as long as businesses are being created, there is code to be written. And whether it's by AI or a human, um, I think that you're gonna need both. You're going to need the marriage of AI and human working along amongst each other and trying to create the end goal. Um, and the end goal is to make the client happy, right? That's the end goal. Uh, and then the users of the applications, you want them to have a good experience, UI and UX wise. So if that's being the goal, use AI as a tool to get closer to the goal. Just like programming language itself is a tool, um, AI is a tool. I just wanted to make a super quick video um, off the top, uh, unscripted, and I hope you all got something of use out of it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, and share with anyone that you know is interested in software engineering. And uh, a lot more content coming out for you soon. So see you all later.